Chats. Welcome to another video in the pre-production series. Today we're looking at script writing. So with a script, it doesn't just tell you um, what the actors are going to say. So it's not just for the actors. The script gives you a lot of information about filming and the scene and the set. So the kind of information that you can see on the script in this image um, is things like where the scene is set. So at the very start of the scene, it will tell you whether it's an interior, I-N-T, or an exterior, E-X-T, and it will then tell you where it is. So it might say the coffee shop. Then it's going to tell you what time of day it's meant to be filmed in. So therefore the production team will know when they've got to schedule the filming. Um, it will also tell you what action is happening. So it will have a little insert telling you the kind of characters that are involved and what is happening in that scene. It will also then tell you the characters that are involved. Now these names are always shown in capital letters. Um, it will tell you some camera action and shot types. And it will also tell you about the scene transition. So from the this scene to the next scene, does it dissolve? Does it fade out? Does it cut quickly? So let's have a look at this script um, a little closer. So if we look at the very top, it tells us that we start everything with fade in. So you have fade in, the words at the top. Then you're going to start with your scene heading. And you'll see here, it's a one-line description um, showing us the location, and the time um, of the scene. And that's always in capital letters. Then we have a description of the action. Now the action um, gives you a rough dis description. And then if there's any character names, it will have that in capital letters. When we have a character's first appearance, a description of the character should be um, given as well. Okay, so here we've got Anthony, Canadian Italian storyteller specialist extraordinaire, 30s and not getting any younger, ambles over. So in this first introduction, we get an idea of what that character, um, the age of them and what they're like. Um, the character's name always appears over the top of the dialogue that they speak. And you'll notice that unlike in English lessons, you haven't got um, speech marks. Okay, so you don't have to put speech marks in on a script because we know that it's dialogue. We've got something here. Um, so can you see where it says voice and it says over the phone? So we know we're going to hear a voice. It's not Anthony's, um, but we're going to hear that over the phone. Um, another parenthetical could be out of breath. So it might say Anthony out of breath. Um, and then the dialogue that he speaks. So it's a direction um, for the actor. So now you know that it's important to format a script properly and that there is a way to do it and a way that's expected in industry, you're gonna learn how to format a script. Um, what you're first gonna do is use a piece of software called Cell Text to do it. Now you can do it in Word, but it takes such a long time because you have to um, embolden and everything, add things to caps, um, change the, the paragraph width. Um, Cell Text does this all for you, so it's much easier to use for script writing. Um, once you've created your free, completely free um, account, you will then get the basic access to Cell Text, and that's all we need um, for what we need to do. You're then gonna use this um, software to write a short script. Now I've started a script here, so you can see the arrow pointing down to the bottom. I've started a short script, and I want you to write um, a page or two of script afterwards to finish that first scene. Um, you're then gonna add that to your skills log and explain to me whether you found it difficult to use cell text, um, whether it made it easier for you, um, and how you might get better at using it. And then I want you to write what happens next. Okay, so in this, 
Blue lights are seen flashing outside of the window at the front of the school. Eddie, red-haired boy, jumps out of his seat and says, Whoa, miss, what's going on? Look. It's up to you to write the rest of that script. So what you're going to do now is you're going to pause this video and you're going to head over to the internet and type in um, www.celltext.com and you're going to sign up for your free um, account using your school email address. And then I want you to come back um, for a little tour of Celltext and how to use it. So now you've created your new free account in Celltex and you've logged in. Now this is what you should see. So your screen will be blank in this part here. Um, you're going to click on the left hand side and click new project. Now we're making a film and TV script. So you're going to click on film and TV and just give your um, your project a name. Um, we've only got episode one, we're starting new and click create project. Okay, whilst it's creating your project, um, when it finally comes up, you will see that you've got a selection here of whether you want to do your storyboard, index cards or um, a screenplay. We want to write the screenplay. So we're going to click in here and that's going to open up our workspace to edit our script. Okay, so the first thing it's starting with is a scene heading. So can you see at the top here, we've got a drop down menu that allows you to choose what you want to add in. So you might want to add in um, some action, a character, um, character name, the dialogue. So all those things that we talked about earlier in the video and when we looked at a script, they are all there to add automatically. So we're going to start with the scene heading. Remember, we have to say whether it's inside or outside. So I'm going to start with um, an interior scene. And can you see that cell text, when you start typing stuff, it um, gives you drop down boxes. So it recognizes that I want an interior. Um, I'm going to put classroom. And then I'm going to tell it whether I want it to be day, night. Um, in this case, it's going to be the afternoon. And then as soon as I click enter, can you see up here it's switched to action because it knows automatically because it's script writing software that after a scene heading comes the action. So I'm going to type in the action that's happening in this scene. Okay, that's the action. I now want to Add my first bit of dialogue. So I'm going to add my character and I'm going to type in that Mrs. Daniel is about to say something. So I hit enter and can you see it's saying, oh, Mr. Let's change that for Mrs. Mrs. Daniel was added to the catalogue. So that name will automatically appear in a drop down list um, every time we try to use it. So now I'm going to add dialogue. Can you see up here again? it has automatically switched to dialogue. Now, I am going to introduce a new character. So I'm going to add a bit of action. So introducing the new character, I've given him a bit of a description. Okay, and then I'm going to let that character say something else. So I come up to character, I put in Alfie, I hit return, and it's switched automatically to dialogue. See, I've typed in Mrs. Daniel and it's there to select, so I don't have to type it in. So all these things make it quicker for you to write your script. So what I want you to do is have a go. Now go back to the script that I wrote, look at what the last bit was that um, the character Eddie said, and then you are gonna carry on what happens in that scene. And you can take the scene in whatever direction you want. I look forward to seeing what you come up with.